Hunter Morse will be back in net today. And it's a 17-year-old, Stefan Chirilla, as a player to watch out for. He has been fantastic in his first ever MLS Next Pro season with FC Cincinnati 2. Of course, this side is coached by Tyrone Marshall. And then for the Carolina Corps, Roy Lassiter, head coach. This is the first year that Carolina has existed as an MLS Next Pro side. And so they've taken their lumps a little bit this season, but looking to get back on track. Did have a good stretch in the middle of the year. And Jacob Evans, the captain, is the player to watch out for. He is the engineer for this offense. Four goals. Now Carolina in white kits, FC Cincinnati two in blue, and we are underway here at NKU Soccer Stadium. For FC Cincinnati two unbeaten in the last three games, two wins and a draw, but they are coming off a bit of a disappointing result against New England Rev two. It was a scoreless draw at Gillette Stadium. A bit of a scuffle here in the midfield. And FC Cincinnati 2 is going to come up with it. Ramos settles it back in. Ramos has two goals this year. Previously played in Venezuela. As I mentioned, this is a very well-balanced attack as Daly has it swiped. Evans off to the races, and he gets tripped up and gets the foul call. Oh, right now. FC Cincinnati 2 has a plus 13 goal difference. Very impressive mark here in MLS Next Pro. And when I talked to Tyrone Marshall about this team, he said what has been so impressive of is how they have just cleaned things up defensively. And he just loves, I think every coach would love, three consecutive shutouts. He's very proud of that. And he says defense you know, wins you championships at this level. You're gonna have to defend here on a free kick. Canetti looks to step over this one. Gregor is there as well. Canetti off his right foot. Doesn't have a lot of power to that. Clear now. Canetti through the air. Rises for it. And now settled at the top of the box. Ramos up the flank now. Well, Cincinnati, too, looking to transition. No, the last game for Carolina, definitely a game they would like to forget about. 5-1 against Inter-Miami 2. It was a loss and, you know, a lot went wrong in that game. Although, when you look at the stats, they were fairly even. But the big problem in that match was that Joshua Rodriguez got a red card in the 55th minute. So, not only was he gone for the second half, virtually all of it, he is unavailable here tonight. Rodriguez has five goals on the season for Carolina. So we will see how they fare without him tonight. Played long here for Cincinnati. Excuse me, for Carolina. Off the corner, bends this into the six, and it's headed away. Back into the box here, and nothing much. Gregoire. Two defenders swarm. Evans. Headed away, nothing much there. It was Schaefer who got in front of that and went straight to net. Well, we've seen more set pieces for the core. This one from Evans off his right foot. Jaber. Bit of a collision there, Daly down. Back in the box, trying his service. Evans nearly comes up with it. Miller, wide. Cross in, no, Schaefer. Now Schaefer through the air is a very dangerous player and a great player to have on that back line for Cincinnati. They gave up two goals in the second half, and that was that. Service in, slides through everyone, and is cleared out for the time being. Camino. Thomas. Daly, head on a swivel. On the right wing, puts it across, top of the box. But now Kazar shoots off the post, trying to go top shelf. 
You know things were promising, this great feed from Daly, but Alcazar makes a, a wonderful run. He's at the top of the 18. Best look we've seen by far today. No call there. And Bomadem was trying to split the defense. He went down and Griggs said no foul. Now we have a player for Carolina in some pain and a yellow card given out. And it's about as close as it can get. And there's a foul that's gonna be a yellow card against Castellano. Ramos. Daly. Dangerous tackle and I think another card is coming out. Yes. It's gonna go against Gregoire. And it should, he was late to that. Goes with the short option, back to Kennedy. In the box, cleared out. And nothing even towards net on that one. Gregoire. Evans surveys all the way into the 18. Kennedy, is he onside? Yes. Daly, unnecessary clear. There's a couple players there were looming. I'll see this there just playing the advantage. Seventeen fouls in this game. And the best chance coming from number forty one, Ben Alcazar, off the post and crossbar, upper ninety. It's where he hit it. Exactly in that corner. Ben Alcazar again. And this time it's a little bit easier save for Sutton as he's able to just swat it down. The top of the eighteen, now twice. This time a little bit farther out than his first shot, trying to Polanco out in front. Ramos, Ben Alcazar was trying to turn and go and Camindo fouls in. And now that's what 18 fouls and feels like they've all happened in, in pretty much the middle of the pitch. Camindo. Off the giveaway. It's one of many players on this roster for Carolina that played for Roy Lassiter, the Houston Dynamo's U-20 squad last year. And a bunch of them have made their way over to join him for the Carolina Corps. Ramos. Cassiano. And just another trip, this time against Charles. Ramos. Picks up speed. It's been very congested in the middle. Angioni. Cassiano. And Boma Dem. Now Daly. Jaber and Alcazar. Waning seconds of this first half. Time for one final push for Cincinnati. And it's Chirilla called for that. And that's the end of the first half. Castellano. FC Cincinnati 2, the number one team in the Eastern Conference here in MLS Next Pro. 43 points on the season. Looking to protect its home pitch and walk away with three points here in Kentucky. Cassiano gets around a defender up the middle, drives it forward. There's a nice pass and a shot. It's saved. What a good job by Alex Sutton to deny. And we'll see this again. And it starts with Chirilla, and Bo Madem is going to want that one back. Thomas. 
Evans sprinting forward. And Jaber commits a foul. And we've got it. Off the free kick, Carolina headed away by Daly. Evans, who's good to go, clearly. And another offside call against Cuevas. That's the second one in the span of a couple minutes here for Cuevas. And not something you want if you're Carolina. And again, he, it's scoreless right now, so it feels like one goal, and that's all it's going to take for somebody to walk away with a victory here. And Beaumadem picking up momentum here. Stitz. That one skips. Settled. Cassiano. Pushed out. Finds his captain, Ben Alcazar. And once again, steady is the force of Chica on the back line. Valois, nice ball ahead. Halton on the wing. Is tackled, and we're going to see a yellow card against Chica. Schaefer off his body. Seven minutes of stoppage time. That uh, makes sense because we've just had so many fouls in this game. Not a whole lot of offensive creation, though. And if nobody scores, we're headed to a shootout. And if somebody scores, they're truly going to be the hero in this one. Of course, would be a stunning late finish. Cassiano, could he be the answer? Had the game winner the last time these two teams played. He gets tripped up. No call. Play on here with Evans. Wide to Canetti. Now for Carolina. On the wing. Bounces that one forward. In the box. Some time to think. And Suba can't get a shot up. Camindo. Thomas. To the corner with Cuevas, headed towards the back post, yes! It's the captain, Jacob Evans! A stoppage time stunner from the Carolina Corps. Well, what a sequence here for Carolina. Cincinnati has only lost five games this year, and dropping three points at home would be difficult. Could this be another one for Suba to really put this game away? Cuts through two defenders. Schaefer is there as well. Suba missed tackle by Schaefer, and it's off Machado and out to a corner. Rodriguez heads it forward to Evans. Looks like he's going to be the hero in this match. Well, Evans gets fouled. In no rush on this free kick. Cuevas. Assisted on the goal. It's stoppage time. Cuevas. Heading towards that corner. Machado. And Cuevas commits a foul. Gets a little push after the fact from Ben Alcazar. And we are certainly into the unknown of this game. Because of that goal and stoppage time, it's definitely going to add on. There's a final whistle. 
a big time victory for Carolina Core on the road against MC Cincinnati 2.